if you are going to build first machine learning model then this video is perfectly fine for you as you know the behind the machine learning model everything is the mathematics so your data set must be in the numeric format otherwise your machine learning algorithm cannot understand those things right so if your data set are in string or the categorical format then you have to convert those data into the numeric format so your machine learning algorithm can understand and build the model over there right so how you will convert those categorical data or the ordinary data string data into the machine learning format or the numeric format for that i am going to explain three important concept that is in the um, uh, spark python py spark first one is the string indexer second is the one hot encoder and third is the vector assembler all three are very important concept when you do any machine learning model development this concept will be definitely you have to use that so let us start the discussion over there but one request all of you please subscribe this channel clicking the button over here so you can get many more videos from my side first we have to uh, start one spark uh, uh, contest what is the spark contest you can visit my previous video to get it and now we got the spark contest now let me uh, make one small uh, data frame as i explained in the video right so uh, then it will easy for me so this is my data frame as i explained already so if you see this is the category id and category right so what we have to do now we have to use the indexer right so for that we have to import string indexer then you can use this api and then uh, you pass those data frame first you create the indexer what the column name and everything then you pass the data set what i will do here you see first observe this first uh, this one first line so what i did what is which column you want to use for the string indexer so in my case my column name is index right so category so use this column name category with this input column name category and understand both should be match actually and and once it will convert when this feature transformation would have what column name you want so i want the column name category index you can give any one right once indexer is available for me i will use the fit to pass the our data frame this data frame name is df so we pass the df and after fit we will do the transform so all those things will be transform and after all the activity i have created new data frame name is the indexed let me see what this data is come out here wonderful so now we got the new column category index right and see all this category apple banana guava had been transferred to this one right apple banana guava and i as i mentioned that if you use the uh, this part uh, if you use the frequency ascending or descending you can change these things so if you uh, just i'm putting the comment you can uh, use that so by default taking the frequency uh, descending you can uh, convert into as per your requirement but this setting is okay no problem but as i discussed that no problems come that what is the meaning of 1 2 3 so we have to use one heart encoding here right so implementing one heart encoder right for that we have to import one heart encoder estimator libraries so this is the libraries and now what you have to do again we have to pass the column which column you want to convert into the one hard encoder so now you see here this category index right this category index should match with this input column because i want convert this category index right so this category index 
and what output column I want, I want the category factor. So let me create this. So now our one hard encoder is ready. Now we have to make the fit and transform what we have done for the string uh, indexer. So this is our encoder. This encoder use the fit method and pass the index. What is the index here? Index is this this data frame. So I am passing those data frame that we have to transform, right? And then we do the transform. You can do both step in one shot, but I am taking in the two shot. And let me show what is the output. Excellent. So see, it uh, is showing the in, as I showed that uh, last uh, lost. So drop the last. That's why it is showing the two. But if you don't want that one, uh, as my explanation. So what you have to do, you create another indexer with the help of drop last false. Means I don't want to drop last, right? And then create it and use the same uh, code here. Instead of the encoder, we will use the encoder underscore two. That's it. So now you can see we have the three here, right? As we discuss uh, on the whiteboard. So it was the concept for the string indexer and the one uh, hot encoder estimator. Let me explain the vector assembler. This is equally one of the important uh, um, things. Uh, it will be useful when you build machine learning model. So for that, you have to import uh, two things. One is the vector, and second is the vector assembler libraries. Right? Take one easy example. The same example what I discuss on whiteboard. So see so let me first show this data frame i have this data frame our uh, mobile user feature and click and what in this case this our uh, mobile user feature is our the feature column so what the vector assembler will do they will take all these three features and combine making into the one column okay and we have to specify that column name we can give the column name is equal to uh, uh, feature or anything you can give that so first let me create the vector assembler what i did uh, see here i use the vector assembler and i pass all the feature column so all this feature column right this here if you see uh mobile feature i want to uh, use the vector assembler here so you pass all those things and you have to give one column name means after converting into the one column what is the name of that column so I use the features here. Now I have the assembler. So what you have to do in assembler, we have to pass our uh, data set, right? So let me do that here. So what I did, assembler is the model here. In assembler, I pass the transform data set and uh, let me print that. So uh, you okay so yeah so now let me show what is this so this is the feature this is the click so i'm not taking the id here so uh if you see 18 18 right 1 1 this 3 0 10.5 0 10.5 is here so everything they combined into the put into the one right so um, this video was for the string indexer and the one hot encoder and uh, vector assembler so next video, I am going to use all these concepts and develop one machine learning model from scratch. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel.